to morning break earlier, we showed you how to get that good South African flavor on your chicken wings. Now we're going to give you a good refreshing drink to wash it all down with. Scott Marshall joins me now. You're the pretty big deal over there because you're the beverage guy. Uh, Everybody the, has to like you, right? <laughs> they do. Absolutely. It's a lot more fun with a drink in hand. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So today you're going to be showing us how to make a Cape Town tea. Correct. Uh, normally I would make the alcoholic version. We take our uh, house peach and rooibos uh, tea that's very popular at Zunzi's and we infuse it with vodka, gin and rum uh, a little bit early in the morning for you. Yeah. So I'm going to do a non-alcoholic version. Also very trendy right now. Uh, it is still dry January. So a lot of people Great. have made that move to to get off the sauce for the month. Uh, some of us permanently. So uh, this is a, a good opportunity. Days. Yeah, yeah, good opportunity for you. Uh, so this is sort of a combination of an Arnold Palmer and a Long Island iced tea. Perfect. Uh, so a little bit of fresh lemon and simple syrup for the sour. Uh, this is uh, this is our tea, just the tea. Uh, this is one infused with a vodka, gin, and rum. So you can actually try this one for you this morning. Okay, perfect. What uh, did we put? Um, I saw you put something yep. in there before the ice. A little bit of fresh mint. Okay. Yep. So fresh mint, fresh lemon, and a little simple. Um, and we do actually have a great line of uh, non-alcoholic spirits. Uh, so this is the vodka and a rum from a couple of different companies for you. Perfect. So we're gonna give that a nice little shake for you this morning. And how much would you say that you're putting? of each item in So there. typically in each of the alcoholic drinks, there'd be about two ounces of alcohol. So it'd be about an ounce of vodka, a half ounce of gin, and a half ounce of rum. Okay. Um, so with this one, we just sort of try to make up the volume with that, with the, uh, with the tea and the non-alcoholic spirits. Perfect. Give that a nice shake. So yeah, during our golden hour from five to seven, you can come on in. All of our drinks at the entire bar are half off. Perfect. And mm -hmm. we were talking earlier, you guys have a really cool time period also for people who work in the restaurant industry. Uh, absolutely. Right before that, from 2 to 6, we have 8626. Uh, anyone in the restaurant industry, before or after your drink, you can come on in, get 26% off of your food before your shift, after your shift. Have a non-alcoholic before your shift. Have a real one after your shift. It's entirely it's up to perfect. you. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so before um, we had to break again, tell me what's in this. So it is uh, vodka, gin, and rum, typically, with our house peach and rooibos infused tea, a little bit of fresh lemon, a little simple syrup, and fresh mint. Perfect. And explain to me again, I'm new to the whole mocktail situation. Absolutely. So the non-alcoholic items that you put in here. Absolutely. Yes. So they have actually started like uh, vapor infusing and just they, they're basically infusing a lot of botanicals mm -hmm. and flavors into water and other you know, say liquids, but they're not distilling. They use yeah. grape juice in some instances, okay. um, but they'll start with a base and then they'll infuse it with flavors. So a lot of it will actually have a little bit of the kick. Um, it's really neat that they're doing. They're yeah. coming out with a lot of those really cool products. Are you guys seeing a lot of people come to the restaurant and ordering mocktails? Uh, right it really now? is. Well, and we're a really popular lunch spot as well. We're really trying to break into the Zunzi bar into the nighttime. We have live music from six to nine every single night. So we're trying to get the people to come back at nighttime and try right. us again. But during lunchtime, you can have a great mocktail. There's a lot of pregnant people out there in the world. There's a lot of people that want to be able to go out and celebrate their life and they don't want to have a drink. You know, yeah. they want to be able to drive home. So we give them a lot of great options. You can have any one of our signature cocktails, non-alcoholic. Perfect. Is there a favorite one that you have? If you're like, okay, you saw us make this, it may not be your vibe. Yeah. What's one that you would suggest? Um, one that's really neat, we actually have a hot Rita on our menu that we actually use the bird's eye chili from South Africa. Um, oh, so we'll cool. actually muddle a little bit of that into the non-alcoholic tequila. And so we use a little tahini on the rim on that one. So we'll do a non-alcoholic nice. hot margarita. Oh, those are good. I love a good spicy mar. Absolutely. Yeah, that's nice. Well, thank you so much You're for coming. Welcome. Again, for tell us. people you guys have a big opening coming up yeah. in a few uh, days. We're opening up out on Tybee, uh, yeah. just uh, the old Gerald's Pig and Shrimp, just after Huckapoo's. Uh, if anyone's looking for a job, we need a lot of help out there on the island for the summertime. So there come on and apply. Perfect. Summer jobs are always good. Absolutely. Perfect. I'm going to take another sip of this. Oh, that's good. Excellent. It's kind of like fruity. I, I, I taste the like Long Island kind of vibe. Yep. Light but refreshing. also the Arnold Palmer with the lemonade type yeah. feel to it. I love it. Goes great with those wings. Yes. Oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to go eat a couple of wings during this commercial break. But coming.